And Alabama is a step closer to getting medical cannabis to patients. A commission today awarded license authorizing every step of the industry. State Capitol reporter Maddie Beer Temple has the story. The legislature legalized medical cannabis in 2021. Now nearly two years later, 21 businesses have been awarded licenses to take part in that industry. The most sought after license was for integrated facilities, receiving 38 applications for just five available. Those licenses authorize everything from seed to sale and allow for the operation of five dispensaries. Flowerwood Medical Cannabis Group was awarded that license and Christina McInnes says they're ready to hit the ground running. We got to get to work on the way home today. So we have a lot we have to do from security system to websites to other different things to make sure that we can get the information out. The company is based in Baldwin County and plans to open dispensaries in that county as well as in Mobile, Monroeville, Gadsden and Montgomery. Other applicants weren't so lucky. Antoine Mordekin's company Native Black Cultivation was denied a cultivator license. We'll do whatever we need, appeals, uh, investigation, whatever it takes to really understand the reason why we wasn't selected so we can make sure that we put our best, for, our best effort forward for the next go round. The University of South Alabama evaluated each application, scoring them based on factors like financial ability, facility security and quality control. The commission took those scores into consideration for their votes. Senator Bobby Singleton co-sponsored the bill that made this all possible. He says once the industry is up and running, the legislature may look into expanding. Between now and the next five years, we may be looking at opening up this legislation again to be able to grow this, this industry. He also says this could open the door for legalizing recreational cannabis. I didn't say it, but yeah. <laughs> Now, the applicants who were awarded licenses today technically don't have those licenses yet. They have to submit a license fee to the commission within 14 days, and the commission will then issue the licenses at their July 10th meeting. Reporting in Montgomery, Maddie Beer Temple, News 19.